episode of Sessions by Saul and Raw. Everybody knows the World Titan Federation is the hottest federation in sports entertainment. And we've got a huge year planned for 2024. Now later tonight, we've got our sights set on dominating that stoner, Matt Riddle. But first, but first, allow me to introduce my guest. It's Matt Riddle's tag team partner later tonight, the heavyweight champion of the world, Alex K. So, uh, what's up, Florida Fat Joe? Whoa, a little decorum. We don't have to start with the insult. You're the champion of the world, and I'm so honored to speak to you. I got things to do with Challenge Scout, so... Okay, that's fair, that's fair. So let's get right down to it. I know you have that huge Super Fight 4 title defense against Satoshi Kojima, but let's talk about my vision, my grand vision. Because the world doesn't know, in 2021, I discovered you. When I worked in the MLW office, I signed you to MLW, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. and look, yeah. you're the heavyweight champion of the world, the most dominant champion we've ever seen. And I have a bigger plan for the future. A bigger plan for the future that I will unveil to you in mere moments. So to the gremlins in the back, roll the footage. That's right, that's right. Mr. St. Laurent, a legitimate promoter, proposes to you the biggest corporate merger in the history of sports and entertainment. Warner Brothers Discovery, TKO, eat your heart out. This will be WTF Bumaye, the biggest conglomerate in the history of the business. And this is a business. Think about it, you're with Don King. You know he's gonna steal your money. Look what he did to Mike Tyson. You come with me, big bucks. We're gonna be on top of the world. So I make to you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Should, should I do business? Yeah, of course, of course. If you listen to them, you'd be working indies in Georgia still. Listen to me. I'm the man that can take you to the next level. And I don't make this offer right, off and hear me out. But you smell like ass and popcorn. <laughs> okay, I do like popcorn, I do like popcorn, but let's get serious because there's big dollars attached. And look, I want you to read it over very carefully. I've got a pen, we don't need any lawyers. This will make it official. Bumaye Fight Club and the World Titan Federation, an official corporate merger with the stroke of this pen. You have the power. You can make it happen. Bumaye is for the 1%. Let's do it. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. You got it inside. You can do it. I know deep down you know you're meant for bigger things. No, no, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. No, think about the money. Think about the money. Think about the money. Come on. I had... No. This was built for the people, by the people. And that's on! Bumaye! 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 I can, I can tape it together! I can tape it together! It's not too late! It's not too late! Alex Kane, Matt Riddle, tag match tonight on MLW Reload! Well, that 
mega merger was certainly a big bust. Welcome everybody to MLW Reload. I am Joe Dombrowski on with Matt Stryker coming to you across the world with this free special courtesy of our friends at betonline.ag and that it is stacked top to bottom tonight. Absolutely. Energy is a real thing and you can feel it especially in the only place where you will see Alex Kane and Matt Riddle take on Tom Lawler and Josh Bishop. Come on now. Plus it's going to be a Joshi January. Two rivals from Japan. A journey across the globe when now Kakuta and Moka Miyamoto square off one on one at our main event. Two weeks before he challenges Alex Kane for the MLW world title. Satoshi Kojima, our first ever world champion in action tonight against the man that felt very jealous back on pay per view. Sammy Callahan, they go one on one. And we kick it off with featherweight action on MLW Reload. The following bout is sponsored by the World Titan Federation and is set for one fall. Introducing first from Westchester, Pennsylvania, the notorious Mimi. Anytime the World Titan Federation is involved, Max Strike, I know you get a big smile on your face, but notorious Mimi's got no love for the WTF. Wrestling's angel says she can fly higher than anybody else, but can she fly high enough to move over top of the corporate hierarchy of the WTF? I'm excited to see how this crowd is going to eat up both of these wrestlers. They can't stand Mimi and wait till this next one. And her opponent, accompanied to the ring by St. Laurent, hailing from a place you could never afford to go, WTF Federette. This is Zeta. Well, that WTF contract Zeta has signed has put her at the forefront of all the WTF segments. She's a roving reporter, an insider. I mean, say to uh, Jack of all trades. Right now, you are looking at a bona fide star. Anything and everything this young athlete touches trends, and it's all from the mind of Saint Laurent. Say it like that. Yeah. You so can do that thing with your tongue. Come on, Laurent. Please don't ever say that to me again. Saint Laurent. I, I it wasn't it. permission or nor a request. Listen, Mimi is not going to request getting in the face of Zeta. Here's a roll up. Could be over right away. No, One count no, no. only. Oh, hang on. And now Zeta backing off. Let's rethink this whole thing. School Mimi. Girl, too close to the ropes. I think Mimi realized that Zeta sometimes has her head in the clouds, sometimes what believes her own hype a little oh, too much. Oh, you're looking at like her saved documents and photos and things? In a manner of speaking, sure. Cool. Ooh. And got the knee up. Mimi Ooh. could come in here with a workhorse mentality and take this whole thing. That's a nice offense right there. Really, really unique for Mimi. And I love it. The crowd can't stand either one. But I like it. It's almost as if they, they want to out-hate the crowd between Mimi and Zeta. And Mimi went into the cover here. Hook of the leg for two count. Mimi doesn't have the political favor that Zeta does, oh. but she does have two years background in Taekwondo. She was a high okay. school hurdler, nice. 400 meters. She's been an athlete her entire life. Love and a six-year pro that dates back to age 14. So very comfortable in the ring for still being a young athlete. Love it. Love all the facts that you give me. But what matters most is what you do inside of an MLW ring. Well, Zeta has been making several inferences, if not outright statements, that she wants a shot at the Women's Featherweight Championship, and that may cause an issue in that political hierarchy Ooh. based on MSL's relationship with uh, Celia De Laurenta. What do you think? I think it's all speculation, and what I think right now is a cover in just a two. Now, let's see what Zeta's all about here. I like what she did. She composed herself. You talked about the age, the youth. A lot of times, young athletes, they get ahead of themselves. But Zeta said, nope, nope, I'm going to chill. Let's see what happens. Oh. Not sure if she had the hair or not, but either way, wrench down. Wow. Zeta begins to hammer away like with those right hands. I like it, Mimi. A couple of shots on the ear will disorient. There's an aggression. There's yeah. an urgency here. You look at this like Mimi may look at this as a must-win situation based on the fact that, let's face it, Zeta's got the majority of the headlines these past several months, and Mimi may feel like uh, on the outside looking in. Shots here to the short ribs, knee to cut it off. Mimi seems to be the stronger athlete here, while Zeta will be able to command time and space much better. Both fighters down now. Could be a turning point in this matchup with two diametrically opposed individuals. One in Mimi, who grew up on a farm, the other in Zeta, who's had stars in her eyes since nice. the beginning. She's about to have stars go around her head. Ooh. 
so much still ahead on reload. What about the clash of styles between Ichiban and Jimmy Lloyd? They go one-on-one. -on -one. And what happens when Steph Delander has to be confronted by old Mancer's buddy, good brother number three? That's tonight. Got the high knee. Mimi had oh, nowhere to oh, go. Gave up the back. Mimi's yeah. out, dude. Hey, look at Going the feet. Into the ropes, into the ropes. Nice, just showing us the bottom of her Asics wrestling shoes. Maybe we get an endorsement deal, Joe. That is not what she was doing. Only okay. one S, though. Don't get excited. Mimi was out of sorts and then into the throat. Whoa, missed completely. Oh, wow. Used her momentum to catch it on the back end. Nice. That could be all here. Ooh, ooh. Good and job, ref. Great job. Mimi's pulling out all the stops from that heaven sent back kick to pulling on the trunks. Mimi needs this win, but still so far away. Tip of the cap, ref, for not throwing this whole thing out. Knows how important the featherweight division is. I check out the counter by Zeta into the nice rear naked choke. Slip. Nicely done. Maybe that was a lesson taught by filthy Tom Lawler in one of the WTF strategy sessions. I would not doubt it. And it's Mimi. Able to rebound, send Zeta down to the canvas off that, that kick into the corner. And now, Notorious Mimi looking to prove she can fly high. We got cut off. And now, I'm prettier by Zeta. And that'll do it. like this, Zeta is in the driver's seat. Now I understand that my broadcast partner, Joe Dombrowski, doing the tough work, asking the tough questions. He'll get a word with Zeta and say, oh. Zeta, if I can prevail upon you for a moment, please. An impressive victory here tonight. Notorious Mimi brought everything she had, but it looks like it wasn't enough to stop, to stop Zeta here tonight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Joe, you could do a lot better than that. The only son of a bitch I've ever seen that looks like both the victim and the killer from a horror movie. Oh my God. <laughs> you suck. Philly sucks. Philly sucks. So why don't we try again and do a proper introduction for the first ever Federette of the World Titan Federation? Let's do it again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the most downloaded woman in all of America online for 2023, the Federate Zeta. James, that sucks. No way. You could have done a lot better of a job. But you know who else can do a better job around here? Shut up! I do business with Selena, so let's talk about it in the back. We don't need gold right now. We'll talk about it. We don't have to talk in front of these idiots. Let's go to the back. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. A smart man indeed is St. Laurent as Joe Dombrowski settles back in. And I, I gotta tell you, I understand the, the criticism from MSL and Zeta. It was the way you asked the question. So maybe that's what we need to work on, the delivery. I don't think I even got to a question. That may have been the problem. Selena De La Renta has dispatched arch rival Alberno 
to oppose him. Speaking of, the Empresaria is in the house, along with the reigning World Featherweight Champion. What's the agenda of Promociones Dorado tonight? Stay tuned. Matt Riddle, who we'll see in action later tonight. Then, the infusion of Joshi wrestlers in the women's featherweight division, as well as the return of the first ever World Heavyweight Champion in MLW, Satoshi Kojima, who later tonight fights another returning force to be reckoned with, Sammy Callahan. Sammy Callahan was upset that it was Kojima, and not he himself, that was in the midst of the spotlight, gaining a title shot, and as a result, as is customary with Sammy, chaos, violence, and a massive disruption follow. However, tonight, for free, here on Reload, Satoshi Kojima, one-on-one -on -one with the Callahan Death Machine. The following bout is set for one fall. From Sydney, Australia, Steph Delander. We saw Steph Delander appear at the side of Matt Cardona. We had thought that Steph Delander was going to side with Mance Warner, who she's romantically linked with, but instead, Delander proved that money was more important than love, and she helped Matt Cardona end the MLW career of Mancer forever. That's good, brother number three, right here. I gotta preach a little bit. See, because of Steph Delander, you done run off old Mancer. You cost his job. He's out Puerto Rico somewhere. But see now, that's good, brother. What's a fight? Steph Delander, you and me step in the ring. Old school Memphis intergender fight. That's good, brother number three. Get the fight. Steph, see you out there. stakes to this matchup. We understand he's good friends with Mance Warner. We understand he was recommended by Mance Warner to be the newest member of the second gear crew. Good, good brother number three extracts some revenge uh, on Mance's behalf. So right behind the arena off Pier 70 is a place called the Show and Tell where a lot of the boys go to hang out. And I was there last night. I did not see good brothers number three at all. Okay. All of the wrestlers were there. So I don't think he's like one of the, the boys, if you will. I think he's an outsider. He's still new here. He probably doesn't know that many people. You want to go to the show and tell after the show? What's there? Is it like the show and tell when I was in kindergarten? <laughs> ding, ding, ding. And a sly smile on the face of Steph Delander. That's because she looked over at me. Oh, okay, sure. I mean, if she goes for the man's water types, do you think she'd be in here? Well, I'd have to help her uh, raise her standards, if you will. But let's talk about this match yeah. here. What's the strategy of Good Brother number three? I try not to get hurt. I mean, Steph Delander is very powerful. She's the deathmatch queen. She is. All those things are true. Yeah. Are we going to have a truce? Handshake. Handshake. These are the relationships well, wait these a minute. days. Wait a minute. Do you consent? Yes, I consent. Okay, let me put that in the cloud so There's I can't some, get in trouble. Something in the... Wait, look at this! Seal it with a kiss and then a roll up! A, a magnetism between Step and Good Brother number three for a moment. It's a certain ism. I don't know what it is. They though. looked in each other's eyes for the first time, and it's like they've known each other forever. And now, oh, Step to Lander on the outside. Did she just use a beer can as a weapon. I mean, most people do. What? And oh, Good Brother number three. 
spiraling into the guardrail. Steph Delander's tough as hell. A seven-year pro, been in the U.S. the past two and a half years, but I mean, conquered the competition in Australia and has, has utilized that power Ooh. all over the U.S. as well, but missed that charge. I'm telling you, Ms. Delander has a beautiful smile. It sparkles. Well, maybe compromised after that impact with the post, though. Now, you know, they say good brother. What is so good about what he is doing right here? What, fighting for the honor of his friend? No, no. I call him indifferent brother. Indifferent brother? Yes, well, that would be me, actually. That would be your opinion. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. But nothing indifferent about good brother number three. Now, you were mentioning Mance Warner. Yeah. Now, and and I, I've had my issues with Mance's lifestyle choices, the people with whom he associates. I'm sorry to hear that. But, uh... I don't know. What do you think old Mancer's doing right now? I don't keep up with his social media. I don't follow back. I think he's got a light beer. Popped That's open, disgusting. And he's watching Reload right now. Okay. Hi, Mance. Reload is even available in the, in the southernmost parts of Buckstorm. Can Stop you sending it? me friend requests, Mance. It's I never going to happen. Joe, you're the kind of guy that puts out his year in review on social media, aren't you? When no one asked. Yeah, I had a good year. So self-absorbed. I mean, you just brought it up and I didn't, so that counts. Here's Steph DeLander. He got me again. Oh, 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 went for the boot. He's got a foot finish. Stop it. Why? Harkens back to... Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, so this is the show and tell. This is what goes on here. Is that what they do? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Good brother... No, How good brother number three. Does that happen too? Um, and you're... Never. If anybody is doing a little lap dancing tonight, it's Mass Good Brother number three. Sit down, Joe. DJ, give me a beat, baby. Give me a beat? I'm sure there's a healthy percentage of our audience that like oh, Steph's excited. the rough and rugged type. Steph's oh, yeah. one of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You've never. Something about that mask brings out his eyes. Are you into that? That's some... Well, that... Hold on, guys. This shirt's waving down. I'm getting sweaty. So I'm gonna have to peel this bad boy off. Joe, you're starting. I'm, I'm a little nervous. Matthew. So I need you right now. Huh? Huh? Matt, do you want to shield your eyes? No, you're starting to sweat here, buddy. Calm down. Oh, I am not. Calm Get down. out of here. Calm down. Look, Steph Look is Steph into though. it. Yeah, a little bit of warning. When Matt's good brother number three peels off this shirt. The divorce rate is going to skyrocket in oh, Philly, boy. baby. Oh, man, wives will leave husbands, girlfriends will leave boyfriends. It will be total anarchy. Steph is excited. Look at her. She's bursting at the seams. Baby. Is this still the yeah. right throw? The 10 rule lap dance. Steph has chosen money and oh, career path. Dear heaven. Over love and lust again. As you always should, folks. Oh. And Good Brother had that chair kicked right into his head and shoulder. She is the deathmatch queen. Oh, my goodness. Steph with another chair. You got to be careful here. It's oh, all no, no, fun no, no. And games. Oh, are God. Somebody crushes their larynx. Yeah, and that mask is oh, no God. shield for that chair shot, I guarantee you. It's a shield for our eyes from his face, but that's about I, it. Well, this be it. God. No. And the fight and resolve. Hey, Matt, you don't hang around second gear crew without being tough. I'll give you that. But Steph Delander, she's a different breed. Yeah. Well, Good Brother's focus has been off. Oh, no! The spear through the ring board. Post-coitus. Good Brother is down. That's and, it. oh, he kicks out again. All right, listen, all kidding aside, Good Brother is one tough son of a, you know what I mean? Like, he's kicking out over and over again. Not his first rodeo. We understand he's been from territory to territory, flying his trade before finding the major league. All right, now, what do we have in store here? It's such a great visual to see Steph DeLander doing such damage. Woo! Oh. Woo! Shout out to Matt Cardona. You know it. Oh, the chair by the good brother. That wasn't right. Lander going for the face wash, Two, but nothing three. doing, and DeLander kicks out. <laughs> All of a sudden, this is becoming a classic. Well, hey, emotions are at a fever pitch in that ring. They're not the same emotions we normally talk about during these matches, no. but they certainly are a motivating factor on each side, aren't they? When we get behind closed doors. Good brother.
further. Feeling the adrenaline from South Philly, but the chair. I'm sorry, I love it. Oh! What was that? What do you call that, Joe? I call that a cheap shot. Okay, you're a master broadcaster. Explain to me why that hurts. And <laughs> maybe Steph will explain. Baby, this isn't us. Aww. We're not like this. That's right. We don't fight. We love. Come on, babe. We can't be doing this. We can't. Steph we can't. is manipulating he said, the situation. Bear with me, y'all. I've been hitting the giblets. I was put through a door, beat with a chair. Steph, all my weapons that I brought out here, you beat me down with them. My mother told me when I was a little boy, one day I'd find the one. And guys, I think I found the one. Oh wow, this is serious. Guys, I, I'm real nervous right now. I'm shaking. My, no, he's not my lower's hurt, my back hurts, my head's bleeding. But baby, I think right now. No. Are you kidding me? No, think about this. Forget, dude, this goes past Steph, Russ. will you marry old man? Man's good brother number three. Oh. <laughs> Come on, guys, what do you say? Well, let's see the ring first, no? huh? Don't you want to see the ring first? No, 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 I didn't hear three, 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 three. You can't afford the ring, you hey, gotta buy the mask. What do you say? Yes. Yeah, she said yes! This nah, brother. Guys, baby. I brother, brother, guys. brother. I don't have a ring on me. I'll get one soon at the shop. <laughs> Referee, give me that cold Chris Light beer. Wait a minute. The that'll longest do, sentence. That'll do, that'll do. The longest sentence Come in here. the English language is I yeah. do. Don't do it. Steph, once you crack open this cold Chris Light beer from Mass Good Brother number three, we are getting married forever and ever. It's oh, an no. engagement beverage. Classy. At least it's silver. I did it! Yeah. What have you done? Baby, have you done? It's all there's down one way here. to wrap this all up. A kiss. So right here in the middle. Let me see them beautiful eyes. Close, close eyes, so I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Close your eyes. Close them. Now open them up, baby. Oh, I told <laughs> What, about 50 years of heartache? Maybe good brother number three is gonna, gonna go out to that establishment later on for the victory celebration. What do you think? I stopped thinking a long time ago. Oh, bro. I'm a married man now. Brother, 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 good brother number three brings the win home. Step to ladder humiliated after ending the major league career of Manson. Riddle me this. What happens when you take two icons of the 80s like Spicoli and Webster and you team them up? <laughs> That's no dream team if you ask me. Forget Jordan, forget Bird, forget Johnson. You guys are looking at the real dream team of wrestling, baby. Tell them, JP. Oh, I'm going to tell them. Hey, you're going to tell them. So tell them. You guys are not ready. You're not prepared. You can't handle what JB is about to tell you. Oh, and if you can't handle what I'm gonna tell you, good luck handling what Tom's gonna tell you. So tell him, just watch.
Talk about an all-star tag team clash and philosophical warfare. The massive Josh Bishop, the dangerous Tom Lawler, represent the World Titan Federation to take on Matt Riddle and the MLW World Champion, Alex Kane. It's tonight! against the recognized number one contender, Satoshi Kojima. Kane has choked out more challengers than any champion in MLW history, but it was Kojima who put that MLW world title on the map. Can he be the first ever two-time champion? Plus, it is Lucha Libre excellent as Mystico, one of the biggest box office draws anywhere in the world of the modern era, goes one-on-one -on -one with Averno. Averno is being presented by Selena De La Renta, and she's none too happy that someone else is responsible for Mystico. We'll chart that story in the weeks ahead. Plus, the Samoan werewolf Jacob Batu goes one-on-one -on -one with former IWGP champion and legend across the world, Yuji Nagata. Batu's streak of dream matches continues. Can he find a way to overcome one of the most respected names in New Japan history? And it's Sammy Callahan versus Akira. It's under Callahan rules. And you know that can only mean one thing. There are no rules. This all kicked off back at Kings of Coliseum two weeks ago. It was Ricky Shane Page and Akira in a time a death match, meaning both men's fists were covered in glue and dipped in broken glass. It was a violent, bloody affair as Akira looked to prove he could stand on his own two feet, his own man. Many say Ricky Shane Page proved he himself could not. Sammy Callahan reveals a newfound alliance with the calling. And Akira was left defeated and dejected in a pool of his own blood. Wars about scars. The wars you've been in, the scars are a reminder. Not that you've died, but that you've survived. Sammy Callahan, you, me, super fight. The following bout is set for one fall. Introducing first from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 208 pounds, you're messing with a different boy, Jimmy. the pain threshold of Jimmy Lloyd week in and week out here in the major league. But tonight, facing a different style than he's ever encountered here in, for my money in the major league at all. He has studied anthropology, speaks nine different languages, majored in quantum physics, and yet he chooses to fight in a major league wrestling ring. That he's in a major league wrestling ring? Yeah, right there. Drop a pin and put it in, and we go into the sandwich shop.
disrespectful Rocky Romero and Promociones Dorado. Well, you and I have a much different memory of that, and I know that when I'm asked to show you that you're number one, I, I show you in my own way, but take nothing away from the connection that this fighter has with the crowd. Matt Styles makes fights. Jimmy Lloyd has been primarily known as a hardcore deathmatch style wrestler. Ichiban does a little bit of everything, but I think is a major practitioner in Lucha yeah. Libre. Who gets the edge? Anyone that says Jimmy Lloyd is just anything is making a huge mistake. Jimmy Lloyd is a great wrestler. Ichiban brings that. And if uh, Jimmy Lloyd can do that, then Jimmy Lloyd has the advantage. But right now, it's even Steven. Even though your name's Jeff. Tope con Hero connects by Ichiban. And Jimmy Lloyd out of his feet. Oh, down with a chop right between the eyes. Is that going to do it? Kick out by Jimmy Lloyd. You know, Matt, I agree with your point there. Jimmy Lloyd is a great wrestler, but a lot of times it gets overshadowed by the violence and the bloodletting. And I mean, we saw him in the 25,000 thumbtack pit of death matchup, but Jimmy Lloyd's a lot more than just that. Joe, hang on. See, I don't get, these people aren't educated. It's one, two, three, four, five, they just keep going one. No, yeah, it's number one. Or is his name Juan? They're counting to one. Wait, whoa, 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 gladly. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Jesus Rodriguez, Selena De La Renta, Promociones Dorado. We had just brought up the fact that there's been some issues for many, many months between Ichiban and Rocky Romero and Selena, and Selena is, yes. Hello. Oh, okay, okay you can. Do, sure do you as you please. There you go. Stand in the presence of a lady. Celine De Laurenta Stand is here. Stand in the presence of a lady. And uh, welcome to commentary, Mr. Laurenta. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, what, what brings you out here? This matchup with Jimmy Lloyd now for the cover on Ichiban, two count only. Mm -hmm. Well, this is my show. I can do whatever I want, right? Okay, yes. I'm not going to tell you you can't. Please, Joe, but then stop shush. questioning me. Thank okay. you. Thanks. Silencio, Bruno. Silencio. Okay. That's right. Okay, you can have the floor. Is there anything you want to say to the audience? Um, Ichiban is incompetent. Okay. He is going to lose. So, spoiler. <laughs> he disrespects Lucha Libre by wearing that mask. It's pathetic. Oh. Does he disrespect Lucha or maybe your vision of he Lucha? He disrespects Lucha. It's exactly what I said, right? That's I agree. What I, said. I That's agree, what I said. Joe. There's a neck breaker, two count only. I don't know why people say he's number one. He's like a deuce to me. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, please, use composure. <laughs> no, because a deuce is. No, don't explain no, it. No, don't explain it. Mind. He knows what it is. He smells like it. Whoa. Respect, uh, Ms. De Laurenta. I, I should mention that Ichiban still is the number one contender for the middleweight title held by Rocky Romero, and Jesus just took a cheap shot at Ichiban. Are you here to state the obvious? Yeah, and he's not even good at that. <laughs> you know, he might be number one contender, but he's just mid. Let's see. So, oh, look out, Falcon Arrow by Jimmy wow. Lloyd, nicely done. Nice. Hooks the leg, nice. two count only. So I would suggest that means no one in Promociones Dorado is in any way fearing or intimidated by Ichiban. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a beautiful Are you laugh. joking? I'm just, I'm just Thank asking. You. Not, not you, Joe. Yeah. Obviously not you. It's like, it's like a song. You're the songbird of the generation. You know what? I like you. Somebody has to. <laughs> Ichiban quickens the pace in the ring. Gets her all up here on Lloyd. Shoulders down. Two count only. Jimmy Lloyd back to his feet. Check out oh, the stunner, nicely done. That was nice, and all of a sudden, this Delorento is quiet. Right. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is not a circus. Uh, it's Ichiban's brand of hybrid fighting, including Ooh. the Libre Missile Drop to connects. Whatever. Ichiban is feeling it. So no remorse from Promociones Dorado over removing his mask in front of the world a number of weeks ago. <laughs> remorse? Do you not know me? It's the ultimate disrespect in Lucha. Obviously, you know it's that. It's not disrespect. I just took the mask off a cosplay guy. Oh, sh Well, check this out. This cosplay guy just pulled out what he calls Code One Ooh. and all a near fall. That's called a miracle. <laughs> Well, it could be a miracle if Jimmy Lloyd can get his wits about him. You can see Jesus Rodriguez. Offering encouragement. Something like that. He's a motivational speaker. Ichiba got caught. That's right. There you go. Oh. Now that's a show. <laughs> I think Jimmy Lloyd took out my garbage this Tuesday. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> you can say what you want about how he looks, but bottom line is Jimmy Lloyd is proving he can get the job done in a big way. Joe, say basura. Basura. I don't, I don't mind if 
he takes out the trash with his Jabroni. His gear kind of looks like a club. <laughs> Jimmy Lloyd manipulating that steel guardrail, has a ladder. And this is where Jimmy Lloyd's instincts come What's he in, man. Doing? That's what you call them? It's the imagination of Jimmy Lloyd. Right. Maybe too much imagination. <laughs> yes. I don't know how that's going to work out. In this day and age, we see a lot of that. Jimmy Lloyd looking to go big. Certainly an important matchup in the rankings, no matter how you slice it. <laughs> There's that laugh again. It's such a sound. He looks great. By Spotify. Can we get that? <laughs> Selena, running like a Cheshire cat over here, watching Ichiban in peril. Oh, he's not going to make it. What in the world are you doing, Jimmy Lloyd? Yes, please, Jimmy. Wait. No, 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 no. Ichiban. Ichiban's off the ladder. He's kind of slumped off the ladder. Still with some fight left is Ichiban. Ooh. In the air, the advantage may yeah. go. Hey, wait a minute, Jesus! Oh, no, he's just checking the kickbacks. He's a big fan. Oh, of he is not. Oh, oh, oh my God! And Jesus going to check his teeth. He eats the ladder. Ichiban. It's Ichiban. Oh. And Ichiban finds a way. Here is your winner, number one, Ichiban. He got lucky. Lucky. Dude, Selena's pissed. I can tell I'm backing up a little bit over here. But you gotta believe this will be a talk between Selena, Rocky Romero, Jesus, the rest of Promociones Dorado, Ichiban <laughs> making that motion. He wants that middleweight title. He wants oh, yeah, yeah. You want that title? You want that title, Bendejo? It's gonna be you versus Rocky at Super Fight. Oh, wow! Super Fight, February 3rd. Ichiban gets the win and he gets the title shot he's been chasing. Our bet online replay shows you Ichiban weathering the Styles Clash and taking flight to put away Jimmy Lloyd. Selena walking off with Jesus Rodriguez. I rate Ichiban pulls off a big win and winds up forcing the hand of Selena. Ichiban finally gets Rocky Romero for the middleweight title in two weeks at Super Fight. Satoshi Kojima is the number one contender to the world title and two weeks away from his clash with Alex Kane. Can he retain momentum or will Callahan play his favorite role of spoiler? Plus, don't forget, Matt Riddle's MLW Free TV debut as he teamed with world champion Alex Kane to look to vanquish the World Titan Federation, Tom Lawler, and the always intense Josh Bishop. MLW versus WTF still ahead. Hey wrestling fans, I'm Ali Melendez from Bet Online with a very special announcement and it is perfect for football season. We at Bet Online are offering an exclusive 25% bonus up to $250 on every qualifying MLW fan reload. Just use promo code MLW23 when reloading your account and you automatically get the bonus. Head to betonline.ag today. Of the 
two athletes in this matchup more so was up until recently one half of the Tokyo Joshi Pro Princess Tag Team Championships with Akari and Noah until Akari had to vacate those championships because of her illness. But Kakuta continues to fight all the way around the world. And her tag team, I mean, you just hear the name, you automatically feel good, right? Because it's team free Wi-Fi. <laughs> Fair enough. But I really love the background that you've given me. But what I need to know is how do they adapt to the style here in MLW, here in Philadelphia? The footsteps, the footwork, the difference in the size of the ring, the intensity of the crowd. Here, the journey begins. Right here. Well, it's very interesting that you point that out because there are, of course, styles make fights here in Major League Wrestling. And you look through the featherweights from Janai Kai to Delmi Exo to Zeta and all points in between. So many different styles and backgrounds. But in this situation, both these athletes have traveled very similar roads. In fact, it's Moka Miyamoto who has been effectively chasing Kakuta all over the world looking okay. for opportunities like this. Good background tidbit of information. It's a great place to catch her right here in South Philadelphia. Tie up and in control with the wrist is Kakuta. So far, so good. You know, nothing we haven't seen before, but still the feeling out process is beautiful to watch. Here we go. And you look at a matchup like this and you see Miyamoto has so much to gain because Kakuta is looked at as one of the MVPs of Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling. Mm -hmm. Um, and she is uh, no stranger is Kakuta to using a bit of, well, let's say underhanded tactics, let's say uh, uh, desperation to win. And oh, got oh. shut down. Yep, great point there, but I noticed just the switch on the headlock was done with such ease. I'm going to say that that Mocha will need to take advantage, not wait too long, and not get enraptured with the crowd because. Now is going to take advantage. I think Mocha took a little extra second or two there, a little extra beat to measure for that karate chop, and it came up to, to Foster in that situation. Early in this battle, you don't want to waste oh, any kind of that. time. Now Kakuta has raised the ire of the Philly faithful, and she seems to love it. Now this match begins to have an identity and a personality, if you will. Of course, you, you look at these young athletes that come through Tokyo Joshi Pro, and it makes you... Uh, it reminds you of how diligently, oh. how hard everybody trains to come out of those Japanese dojos, how yes. they live and breathe yep. pro wrestling, and Ooh. you don't make it over to U.S. soil unless you've impressed a lot of the right people. Agreed. And uh, listen, I, I've lived both lives here in the States and over there, and I understand what it's all about. It's about the dedication and the respect for the sport. That's something that's immediately taught. So even though the underhanded tactics here you're about to see, we'll get a reaction from the crowd. There's always going to be that underlying burning respect, and I think that shows through, Joe. What pressure do you think is on the shoulders of someone like Kakuta coming in here, the more established fighter, knowing that if there's an upset here, wait, there's a cover, two count only. If somehow Miyamoto could pull off an upset, that could change the trajectory of this entire Tokyo Joshi Pro rivalry. I can't speak for Ms. Kakuta's mental health or if she obsesses and lays in bed at night and worries or is overconfident. Not everyone thinks, oh, this is pressure. Oh, people rise this. Yo, this is going to be awesome. I'm going into Philly in the U.S. and I'm going to kick her ass. That could be her mindset too, Joe. No question. We'll continue to uh, look at the body language. This matchup progresses. Kakuta. Feeling pretty sure of herself at the moment, but Miyamoto counters the full body slam. I mean, if anyone's body language was showing me anything early on, it, it was Ms. Mi Miyamoto. She seemed a little hesitant, you know, doing the, 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 the beautiful flower, cute girl kind of thing, you know? Well, right now, it's it's not about how cute you are. It's about favoring that head and neck. The damage done yep. gingerly gets to her feet, does Miyamoto, but still ready to fight as she fires away with heavy rights. Forearm strikes to the bridge of the chest, designed to disorient the breathing, and then going low to the solar plexus. I see what Mocha's doing here. Another full body slam. You saw preceding that. Some of those full extension strikes. Shades of that karate background she brings to the table as well. Tightening the belt. Kata. Oh, right into the solar plexus. That time it connected, and is it enough? No. Great careful placement of the left hand on the shoulder as well. Win, lose, or draw here. Moka Miyamoto is growing before our eyes. And Miyamoto. Smart, yeah. smart hold to use at this position. Oh. When shifts the weight, shoulders are down. Oh, oh man, that was close. Oh, referee. 
<laughs> Great job, man. I don't know how you did it. Miyamoto just barely gets the inside shoulder up at the last second. A lot of space between these two. How are they going to fill it? Almost a stalemate for a moment. Catch. Roll. Gave up the back. And check out that innovative, I can't say submission hold, being right. it's in the ropes, but damage is done. And that's not just the head scissors, it's also the back and the spine being contorted across those ring cables, right? Yep, we've seen variations of that hold over the years. The closer you do it to the turnbuckle, the, the tautness of the ropes is much more increased than it is in the middle. And that's really an advantage that comes with those gears of ring wars to understand those intricacies. Absolutely, cover here, great placement of the forearm, elbow against the head. Was that an attempt at making a statement for the no, victory? It, it, so if, if uh, Mocha would turn her head to the right, it wouldn't allow her to kick up. But Mocha would just it, intuitively turn her head to the left because there was no resistance there. Mocha looking for a back heel trip. Oh. Again, like, it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to work. Sends Probably her for here. a loop, Up almost high. like a judo throw. What are you throw. going for here? Trying again to go for that submission. And look at now, Mocha. Got it locked in. It only matters that you've caused damage and pain to your opponent. And the damage being done here, certainly almost a stationary version on the knees yeah. of an abdominal stretch. And now does it really realize her back foot is actually closer to the ropes, but still was about to tap. To <laughs> that left hand came up, holding the shoulder. It's now Kakuta. Damage was done. Can Moka Miyamoto make the most of this and follow through? Tokyo Joshi yeah, Pro showcase block. matchup here on MLW Reload. Dropping the hips, lowering the weight. Veteran maneuver, the ice heel kick. Here we go now. This is where the youthful exuberance of Moka Miyamoto can come into play. Miyamoto can feel it. Can she follow through and finish? With fans all over the world Another watching block. on Same. BN Sports, on YouTube. Same mistake made, oh. allowing your opponent to drop their hips lower than yours. You're not going to be able to move them. And flatliner variation at the hammerlock as well. No resistance between the face of Miyamoto and the canvas. Ooh, what's this? There's a pause there. A pause with poise. Fireman's carry. Ooh. Wasting out into a stunner. That could do it. Miyamoto got jarred and got pinned. Still not moving. Here is your winner now, Kakuta. So the Rat Chaser and the former one half of the TJPW Princess Tag Team Champions travels a long way with a hungry young upstart giving chase. But in the end, it was now Kakuta who stands tall. It's going to feel a lot better sitting in first class all the way home with the winner's share of the purse. Congratulations to both fighters. Hope to see them both again. The relationship between Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling and the featherweight of MLW continues to grow and the competition continues to get more and more steep. Miyamoto has been through a war. What? What's this? Look who it is! What? It's Doug! Doesn't his taste get any better? Don't you learn? Love Doug is out here to just, to spread some positive energy. He's starting out to spread something. Catch one of his kisses, man. Oh, God, he keeps touching his lips and throwing it at me. Yeah. What, which simplex is it? Two, ten? Yeah, you laugh because you know what I'm talking about. You're disgusting. Look at Miyamoto's reaction. Out tracks. Konnichiwa, Washati, Love Doug. Oh, God, how condescending. Studying Japanese, oh, this Genki is this How condescending, I just wanted boy. to say that we, tonight, you were so brave. What, wasn't she brave tonight? And I'm just wondering if maybe I, too, should be brave tonight. Do you guys think I should let her know uh, uh, how brave I am? Mocha, I've been a secret admirer of yours for a long time now. It's and adorable, Matt. I don't know if maybe you'd want to go to dinner with me before you go back to Japan? Don't do it. Don't do it. Do you guys think she should go out to dinner with me?
No, don't do this. Shoot shot no, put no, all no. these people over don't the wall. Do what do you say? Do Stop it. No, no, no. It's the number one rule in wrestling. Don't do it. You're a fool if you do, young lady. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, she said yes. She said yes. She said yes. This is a language barrier. She thinks it means no. She Matt, didn't, hi. She didn't say hi. Matt, love is a universal language. Embrace it. I got a universal sign for you right here. Hey, quit that. We're on TV all over the world. I'm from the Quorum. Love, Doug, and Mocha Miyamoto are to go on a date. Love, Doug, after months of hardship, may have finally found the right girl for him. This is a blessed day. each other. But later tonight, many say the World Titan Federation deserves the wrath of Matt Riddle and World Heavyweight Champion Alex Kane. Our tag team clash is still ahead tonight. Brought to you by our sportsbook partners, Bet Online. Bet on almost anything, from football to soccer to esports to politics and elections. Head to betonline.ag on your desktop or phone and get started with massive welcome bonuses. Earlier tonight, Selena De Laurenta was ringside watching on as Ichiban went one on one with Jimmy Lloyd. As Selena was hoping to watch Ichiban's demise, a victory by the man from the number one dojo drove a frustrated Selena to make a decision it appeared she never would. She has granted Ichiban's title match against Rocky Romero for the MLW World Middleweight Crown. We can break the news that the title fight has now been made official. And to underscore the true prestige of this clash, it'll be two out of three falls, live on Trailer TV Plus. But now another match Selena better keep an eye on. Featherweight action ahead. The following bout is set for one fall. Introducing first from Northern Kentucky, top tier, Tiara James. Our top tier Tiara, if my notes are correct, is still unpinned here throughout the major league, but this three-year pro gains more confidence, more swagger in her step every time we see her. If your notes are correct, then you're doing something wrong, pal, because of the whole world three inches up from that paper. Everything you need to know is on your screen. Well, no fear, no intimidation. Major one-on-one -on -one test for Tierra in just a moment. Past these past few months, we've seen her, you 
know, defeated by Janai Kai, yep. featherweight championship. What about that physical battle in New York with Miu Yamashita? Yep. So, you know, it's about how you respond to that adversity, and this could be the test for Delby. You know, Matt, a lot of questions have been posed about the focus, the state of mind of Delby since losing that world featherweight title some months back. As we see the Calamemo tie up into the arm drag okay, by good, Delby. But you see, just like that. Kick, not even keeping control of a, of a move early on. So let's see what you can, again, can't. I mean, it could be Delmi second guessing herself. It could be just something as basic as momentum. Well, I'm second guessing her right now. I like the wrist and shoulder control though, that's nice. Tiara realizes. Okay, good, smart by Tiara. Control the pace. Come on, Delmi. Delmi's gotta channel that god queen element as we see those Azteca henchmen again. We have seen those a number of times and Let's be honest, Matt, like, I have no idea why they're here or, or, or what they're doing. We saw them give an envelope of some sort to tell me a few weeks ago, but I, based on some of their past actions, I can't even begin to speculate what's going on. I'll lean on you. This, that's, you know, before my time, if, if you will, here in the league. But uh, as that transitions and develops, the wrestling in the ring is what matters. Certainly, and, and could the contents of that envelope be weighing on Delmi's mind as well? Okay, good point. Now, I mean, going back to, again, Delmi has lost a couple of matches. Tierra doesn't know what that feels like here in the major mm -hmm. league. And, and may she never. That may be the case. And if that's the case, what would it be like if Tierra James goes one-on-one -on -one with Janai Kai sometime soon? Take my money now. Seriously. Because Tierra James is one of my favorites here in the league. And for good reason. Well, you can't help but respect a double hook of the leg that time. And Delmi able to kick out. Did Rich Palladino say Northern Kentucky? So, yeah. Right, yeah, represent. Sierra, make sure the, the count cadence is to her liking. Good. As she should. And Delmi firing back, keep in mind. Wait, Delmi could be looking, Delmi driver here. And is, is Sierra yeah. softened up enough to execute no. this? No, and that's a great question that you ask right there. Definitely not, not enough damage done. And that is an uncharacteristic mistake from Delmi. Oh, yeah. Oh. Delmi called, she's like, come on, come on. And then Delmi got flat backed. And Tierra has and Delmi over up, the shoulder. Up, up, up. The long body of Delmi Exo coming into play here. Tierra went for the this right hand. Should be a big win, a big win. Roll up. She got her. Got her. Here is your winner, the God Queen, Delmi Exo. And just like that, going from casting that doubt to now Tierra James Pitt. dangerous does this make Tiara? Let's find out if there's something on the mind of the God Queen, Delmi Exo. Well, Philly, it's been a long time coming, but I think the God Queen is back on the right track. But let's not celebrate too early, because I got a couple of demons still lurking around that I gotta set in place. Whoa. Janai Kai, you have something that belongs to the God Queen. Uh, a message sent from Delmi Exo, but you know that a public challenge like that will not go ignored or unanswered by Promotion Dorado. Yeah, that may not have been the best thing. I get it, Delmi. You, you want to get back on track. Why are you wasting time with words? Look what you brought upon you now, Delmi. And look at that power walk by Selena De Laurenta. She loves having the power. She doesn't like being called out on someone oh, yeah. else's time. No, no pantsuit needed at all. Because this right here is true. And Janai Kai is still undefeated. And a growing list of victims in her wake. Selena's response gonna be? Puta! Please! <laughs> I think you got CTE if you think that you're gonna get another match against my champion! Her champion? My title. Tell me. Pick what you want. Left 
left leg, shorten your career. Or right leg, end it right here, right now. Damn I've, never heard, I've never heard Janai speak. And she made her words matter. A lot of power and purpose with that one threat. But now, Zeta of the World Titan Federation with St. Laurent in tow. Looks like what Zeta wants to shop for is the featherweight title. St. Laurent's been promising Zeta Taylor Swift tickets Ew. in lieu of I thought he liked match. her. Why would he give her that? Please don't get me started on that. Not a Swiftie? No, please stop. I need talent. Sing the same song over and over again? Stop it. Well, what's on Zeta's mind? I think I got a pretty good idea. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> look what we have over here. Um, the Queen of Print. Yeah, give it up. Uh huh. Yeah. It is cute. <laughs> <laughs> no one talks to Selena that way, and St. Laurent maybe caught in the middle. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Selena oh, was aiming for Zeta, yeah. but St. Laurent got knocked down in the yeah. fracas, and now she's, everybody's fighting. She scalped St. Laurent, scratched him on the top of his head. And St. Laurent trying to keep Zeta out of the proceedings. It's Delby after Janai Kai, and the two power brokers, the two promoters, are, are at odds now, I and it's thanks it. to Zeta. Chaos creates controversy, and controversy creates cash. And it all surrounds the world featherweight title that Janai Kai's had a stranglehold on. Look at Janai. She knows she can kick you from here. Those piercing eyes show me there's no intimidation, no the, matter who the challenger is. The story here is the championship that is around the waist of Janai Kai. And the fact that Delmi XO wants it back, and the fact that Zeta wants it to be hers. Man, this is gonna be fun. And has Zeta created a rift between Selena and St. Laurent? Delmi has been inspired by her victory tonight, but does she have what it takes to do what she couldn't do a couple of months ago? And that's beat Janai Kai. The moving parts are getting more and more intriguing. And the featherweight division may just be becoming the most competitive division in all of Major League Wrestling. A big night for Delmi XO. Gets the losing streak off her back. Kings, Tierra James. This has been a banner night for Delmi. Make no mistake about that. And that could be that catalyst. Delmi needs to turn things around and get herself back in contention for that title shot. Azteca Henchman. Who in the hell is going to call Delmi? Or who is Delmi going to call? Phone works two ways, Joe. Delmi may have just gotten the key to all of her success, but at what cost? Bengals are 
around, you're telling people you like bread, and I call it bull shit. Sammy Callahan is a petulant boy. Gee, you might be a legend, but you got a date with the death machine. Trust in me. Thumbs up! Thumbs down! Sammy Callahan with his shot at Satoshi Kojima still ahead tonight. A shot at Akira coming up February 3rd. Our next big premium live event on Trailer TV Plus. It's Super Fight. Watch it 100% live all across the world. Our fight calendar shows you some other important super cards coming your way. How about Thursday, February 29th, Intimidation Games. Friday, March 29th, Ford Chamber returns. And Saturday, May 11th, Azteca Lucha. We're back to Chicago. All of those on Triller TV Plus. And don't forget, February 17th, March the 16th, live specials free across the world on V8 Sports and YouTube. No matter where you are, you can enjoy the action personified by Major League Wrestling. Speaking of action, it's time for MLW World Titan Federation Tag Match. The following tag team bout is set for one fall. <laughs> Introducing first from Allentown, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 216 pounds, the King of Pros, Matt Riddle. What an all-star tag team clash we have for you here tonight on Reload, which includes the very first free across the world appearance of Matt Riddle in action since his MLW return. Fans are still buzzing about the dream match back at Kings of Coliseum two weeks ago where Matt Riddle, there's no bigger statement you can make coming through the front door of the Major League than what I don't know if anybody's ever done, choking out Jacob Batu. Here's the thing about Matt Riddle. He is the real McCoy. He's as real as it gets. And the fact that he's out here smiling and having a good time, and yet he's capable of kicking everyone's ass in the building, I don't know if that makes him more frightening or endearing. 420, bro. Matt Riddle is a dichotomy. If you see him outside the ring, much like here in his entrance, he's always got a smile on his face. Always. He's always ready to kick back and hang out with his fans and be a man of the people. But if you cross him in a competitive environment, yep. a switch gets flipped. And that's what it's all about, man. Making that kid's night, that's what it's all about. <laughs> the sandals go flying. And, uh, well, not the best uh, aim on that, but. Well, maybe it was. To. Maybe it was. And honestly, what's that guy going to do about it? It's not much. But it's not about the sandals. It's about what Riddle does between the ropes. Because Riddle is here to prove he's not a sports entertainer. No. He's a competitor. He's a fighter. He is a major league wrestler. He's an athlete. He's entertaining. But when the bell rings, let's go. And his tag team partner, accompanied in the ring by he is the captain of the Bumaye Fight Club from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 236 pounds, he is the current MLW World Heavyweight Champion, the Suplex Assassin, Alex Kane. Alex Kane has fought valiantly against the insurgents of the World Titan Federation and their planned takeover of the MLW brand to homogenize it, to make it corporate and safe and sanitary and have St. Laurent's vision of what sports entertainment should be, get rid of all of the athletes that don't tow the company line. Joe, you know why they homogenized milk, right? You know what that is, right? They heat it up 
to kill any bacteria in it. Homogenization is good. Purity is good. I don't know what you're off about here. What are you missing? It's, it's good in dairy products, but not in a sport like this, where individuality and being yourself takes center stage. Kane has defeated what, four different members of the World Titan Federation in title matches, but they just keep sending bigger and badder bodies. How about this team right here, though? I mean, come on. How about this match that we're about to have? Alex Kane, Matt Riddle, two of the most diverse practitioners of combat sports you'll find anywhere, but their first time teaming. Are they ready for this? Now some good music. Their opponents at a total combined weight of 460 pounds. The intense icon Josh Bishop and filthy Tom Lawler, the World Titan Federation. They want you to know it's what the world is watching. They want you to know it's the revolutionary force in sports entertainment. They want you to be a part of the WTF universe. I am. Tom Lawler and Josh Bishop, no matter what label you put on them, are mad, bad, and dangerous to know. And for St. Laurent's mission to carry out, and for him to get the power, the gold, the prestige, the corporate control, these two men who are towing that company line of the WTF may just be the two to do it. The World Titan Federation is what it's all about. And filthy Tom Lawler, even though he drops his mouth guard on the floor, he looks at it, he says, ah, I'm filthy. I can beat whatever's there, and he puts it right back in his mouth. And the thing I look at that I can't overlook when it comes to Bishop and Lawler, it's how good they are at what they do. Bishop may be the best power man MLW yes. has seen in years. Lawler from MMA, there's nothing he can't do look, look, as a means of hurting look, look. you. All four of these guys can yeah. fight. I yeah. don't care how tough you are. I don't care if you take your little jujitsu classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays and post pictures of your rolling. You can't beat any of these guys. I don't even think you can beat the referee in there, to be honest with you. That's how good MLW is. And as good as Bishop and Lawler are, in my estimation, they would be just as good no <laughs> matter who was in their corner, no matter what term was used to describe their fighting style, but they have chosen to take the Bro, money. Look what we got the here. vision of St. Laurent. Inject this into my veins right now. Riddle and Lawler. Two former UFC fighters. Bro, Lawler's an entertaining guy. You ever see when he mocked Dan Thrun and mock, uh, paid homage to Dan Severin's entrance? Lawler is a yet. funny, funny guy. Riddle is a funny guy. The bell rings. No time for fun. Let's go. Lawler 11, 8, and 1. Riddle 8, 3, and 2. Those are their respective Good MMA stats. records. So I'm big into the catches, catch can style. It's my favorite thing in the world. So I'm all for this. Lawler with a dominant position now as the hammer lock on Riddle. Riddle showing the dexterity, able to spin out. We're going to trap for a Fujiwar arm bar. Lawler rolls his weight forward. Nicely done. Catch as catch can here. Yep. Move and counter move. You'll see half halches. You'll see all kinds of two on ones. And look at Matt. Right up. Uh, don't do that. That's the difference, dude. And Tom's smart. Tom does not take the bait. But Matt Riddle is fearless, even if he should be intimidated he, by he, someone he like wanted Tom, He wanted Tom to react there, and Tom would go for it. Nice. Shooting the single switches over into the double now. Matt able to roll through, getting up his back. You can do that here in pro wrestling because most times you're taught stay off of your back. That's where the difference is between the MMA guys and the pro wrestling guys. Well, check out Riddle, who just used all his body weight to clamp down that Kimura. Does he have it, though? Let's get the shot. Great counter, here it comes. Yeah. Good. Lawler Good job by the cameraman to stay on that side. Lawler measured Riddle right between the short ribs and was able to connect. And now to the leg of Riddle. Here we go. And keep in mind, uh, we've seen uh, Riddle uh, favor his leg and his arm as well a couple of weeks ago back at Kings of Coliseum. That physical matchup with Jacob Fatu, yeah. you wonder if he's 100%. Side rushing, led into the submission. Now, we saw a similar submission where Riddle was able to garner the victory over Jacob Fatu. That's true. Rolling off, peeling himself is Riddle. Lawler waiting. Careful. Nope. That did not connect. Good evasive maneuver by Tom Lawler. 
Uh, Riddle got what he wanted to out of that. That's back to the vertical base. How about the fact that Kane and Bishop haven't even gotten in yet, dude? <laughs> We're just getting started. Oh. Incredible main event here on Reload. Thank you for joining us, no matter where you are throughout the world. MLW at 60 plus countries. Front chancery by Riddle, tag made in by Alex Kane. Room for Kane to get in. And let's see how they function as a tag team. Yeah, right there you saw that was a little wonky. Kane's entrance in. Bishop and Lawler are gonna have more fluidity as a team. I do agree with you. Belly to belly, one of the suplexes. Holiday fell at Kings of Coliseum. And Riddle with cover. the boost from the champion. It's the set time. Nice. Kane on top. See what Kane did? Two he took penalty. the cover, making sure that his face and head were towards Josh Bishop. He doesn't know Riddle enough to trust him to watch his back just yet. That's smart, because Kane knows he's the champ. He knows he can't trust anyone. If they were a true team, he would cover with his back towards his opponent, because he'd know that his partner would protect him. Doesn't know it in this. Kane mocking Tom Lawler here with that headband. That's to protect the cauliflower ear. Keep in mind, two weeks from now, Kane has to deal with Maybe the toughest test of his world yes. title run, Satoshi Kojima at Super Fight across the world. Triller TV presented by Fight as Alex Kane snaps off an exploder Look at suplex. Matt. <laughs> right in Tom's face. Matt is playing the head game. He did it with the slap in the face. He's doing it here. Well, there's a cover to Kelly. We know Tom Lawler can be very unpredictable. We know he can have a temper. Yes. And we know that Josh Bishop, untamed and unprotected, yes. can do absolute damage to this entire building, let alone the two people in the ring. Speak of the Bishop, and here he comes. Mike Awesome-esque. You mentioned about the great big men in Major League Wrestling history. Yeah. That's where Josh Bishop takes my mind. Mike Awesome, former MLW World Champion. Mm -hmm. Could Bishop be one day Absolutely. to put that power in St. Laurent's back pocket? Double back elbow. And Bishop measuring methodically. And you see how Bishop covers facing yeah. Riddle? Bishop's one of those guys. And rapid fire covers here. And you know Kane is expending energy with yeah. every kick out. Yeah, that's not to win the match. It's all it's an offensive maneuver. Bishop's one of those guys, and he can do the little basic things, but from a frame like that, it hurts like hell. Absolutely. A headbutt. Bishop has, keep in mind, a couple of months ago, wow, he won that battle royal, put Matthew Justice through the table, crawled with him on the roof at Christmas Eve. Bishop, I would say he hasn't met a man that he hasn't gone through. He hasn't met five or six men at once he hasn't gone through. You know, I understand uh, that night in that area, Santa didn't make it because Josh Bishop clotheslined him off the roof. Wouldn't surprise me in the least. Kane on the receiving end, cover, two count only. Is it too risky, is it hubris by Kane to accept this matchup two weeks with Kojima? No, I can see where you would think that, but this is actually the right thing to do. Why not get in there with two of the toughest guys in the league ahead of your biggest title defense? Why not? Well, you gotta wonder what, what look out, out. Deep exploder suplex by Kane. That creates the distance that Kane needs. And with Lawler from the blind side. Kane had a clear path to Riddle, and Lawler picked his spot. Heads up. And Kane to the floor! That's a side of the suplex assassin we don't see very often. Yeah, but it leaves Josh Bishop alone in a Major League Wrestling ring. And Bishop won't need very long to recover. Nope. And all that wind up sidewalk slam! Bishop takes King. And Lawler on the outside. Bang. DDT! Oh man, and Kane went limp right away. Alex Kane may be hurt. And if Kane is not 100% after this matchup, that could send a lot of turmoil through Super Fight, let alone the league as a whole. What if the WTF gets a count out win over the champion? It would be fantastic for WTF momentum. Look at St. Laurent gloating and laughing. Obnoxious and overbearing. Change your sweatsuit once in a while, too, for God's sakes. You're just jealous. Alex Kane back. I'm jealous of the fighting spirit of Alex Kane, that's for sure. Who's back in the ring, even though maybe he shouldn't be medically. But that's not going to stop him. 
Alex Kane has a responsibility. Every single wrestler in the locker room, whether they want to admit it or not, are looking up to him because he's the champ. And Matt Riddle, now you see the 10th nice of Riddle. Nice job, ref. Yeah. Chris D'Antonio, one of the that. best in the game. Riddle, and Law, we're egging him on. Riddle was trying to get into Tom's head earlier. It's Riddle's head that is into now. Yeah. And it takes a lot to uh, be a buzzkill to Matt Riddle. That's true. For the WTFR. Chance of throw, ring out, but Alex Kane might as well be 100 miles from his corner. Lawler peppering Kane with boots. Keep in mind, Lawler, a former MLW world champion in his own right. At what point does the tide turn here? Because it's really been a lot WTF here. How can Kane get across? You mentioned, I mean, if he's 10 feet away, he's 100 feet away. Yeah. What is he, 16 feet away right now, all the way across the ring? What are we at, an 18-footer? Well, it must feel like a size 18-foot on top of Kane right now, courtesy of Bishop. This crowd not losing hope. Faye Jackson on the outside. I want to see Bishop and Riddle. I do too. I know Riddle wants to see it. So many different matchups that you can fantasy book here in MLW. And I have a feeling we'll get to the vast majority of them before yes. it's all said and done. Knowing league officials, we will. And knowing the fact St. Laurent is not going to quit until he gets absolute power, and Kane and Riddle rebel against everything St. Laurent stands for. They're not fans of corporate wrestling. Riddle especially. Here comes Lawler. And this is just humiliation. It's a Bronco Buster. It's effective maneuver. It disrupts the breathing, compresses the chest. What's, it's, I don't it's understand. A, it's a sports entertainment maneuver. What's wrong with that? I have bought two houses on sports entertainment okay. maneuvers. And, and maybe you'll get a third of St. Laurent. It's on its way. way. It's being built. There you go. But it's more than just money and property. It's heart and it's passion and it's the love of the game that no. motivates Kane and motivated him out of the corner and the clutches of Filthy Tom. That'll blow your ring out, Tommy. Bishop right there to play spoiler. Notice Bishop's body between Kane and Riddle. Yep. And this could be that exit 187 powerbomb. Remember the powerbomb through the table at Kings of Coliseum? Yeah, just annihilated Manders. Oh, Riddle, the King got the tag to Riddle. Here he comes. Kane picked his spot, and the King of the Browers begins on Jeez. Throw him like he's nothing. Proton connects. Imagine the toughness to follow through with a kick that hard when you're barefoot, no knee pads, no shin guards, no protection. The true shooter. Doesn't need the knee pads, doesn't need any kind of protection. Kane a drop step on Lawler and stereo oh, German wow. suplexes. I love it. Where's Matty going? Matt Riddle ascends high above. Heads up, who's that? Him. Hey, Richard Holiday! And Kane cuts him off with the pass. Look out, Holiday got dumped. <laughs> and Riddle! Fly, Matthew, fly. Super Proton and Bishop Kittend. Here are your winners, the King of Bros, Matt Riddle, and the MLW World Heavyweight Champion, Alex Kane. Well, Alex Kane and Matt Riddle have that tag team chemistry now. They are not the most polished team, Matt, but that heart, that desire, that passion drove them to victory. I don't want to be that guy, but I want to see Matt Riddle and Alex Kane one-on-one -on -one for the Major League Wrestling Championship. One day, I will get my wish. Hell, I do too. I don't think Riddle and Kane have any aspirations of being a long-term team, but they've got a common enemy. Matt Riddle and Alex Kane fight against the corporate stifling of this great sport that Richard Holiday and Lawler and 
bishop and the rest have sold their souls to profit on. Our bet online replay shows you why Alex Kane and the Bumay movement can't be bought, can't be put in a corporate structure. And with Matt Riddle's independent spirit, that team reigns victorious. Riddle and Kane carry out the vision of this sport. And it'll always be a sport to me and Major League Wrestling. such like stars i idolize them you want the real story let's get it earlier tonight we had more questions than answers coming out of the featherweight matchup between tiara james and delby exo that saw the azteca henchman appear and present a key and a cell phone to delby exo could this mean what and who i think it might our cameras have been dispatched. The World Titan Federation and Second Gear crew are picking up where they left off at Kings of Coliseum. This is a wild brawl. Bishop, oh, Bishop just hit a referee. That's going to be a serious find. No one is safe but Josh Bishop. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape presented by Bet Online. This is the first ever meeting between these two fighters. Kojima, the only man to hold the IWGP Heavyweight, Triple Crown title, MLW World title, and GHC Championship all in the course of his career. That's one hell of a resume. But is Kojima ready for the unrelenting brawling that is Sammy Callahan? Sammy looks to play spoiler and maim Kojima to the point he cannot challenge Alex Kane for the World Heavyweight title at Super Fight. Will he get his wish? Only one way to find out. The following bout is set for one fall. Introducing first from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 238 pounds, Satoshi Kojima! The pop and circumstance brings in a 32-year veteran, a legend, the very first world champion of NFL oh. today, Derek Sammy Callahan. Of course, you expect anything less? Not at all. It's his first official match back here at Major League Wrestling. Callahan, Whoa. an outlaw as he is, shows up where he wants, does what he wants, unpredictable as hell, and doesn't play by anybody's rules. Where else are you gonna see this? I've had my own run-ins with Callahan, and I bet you have. The less he, le less he is out here when he's not meant to be, the less he comes over here, the better we all are. I have known the Prophet Samuel for a long time, and I agree with you. When he is around, there's a different presence in the building. It truly is. A man who ran rough shot over Major League Wrestling for years after our relaunch with that baseball bat. There's just a thickness in the air, almost a smell, a musk, oh. a musk, if you will. A paper cut. Sammy Callahan, and if he, if he hurts Kojima here, keep in mind that could compromise our main event for Super Fight coming up February 3rd. If he hurts, if, if ifs were fifths, we'd all be drunk. Oh, and a paper cut right to the mouth. The sick, sadistic bastard, Sammy Callahan. And, and Sammy is, is instructing the referee, come on! Chris D'Antonio's doing his job. Sammy Callahan respects yeah. the one or nothing. Kojima back with a lariato, able to turn the tides. Kojima, a, a big time fix to adjust the, 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 the tone and the pace of this matchup because Callahan is now on the run after being just manhandled like Kojima before the bell even rang. Let me listen. 
So the first thing we're going to notice here is Kojima has long years, right? Long years. Watch his mouth. When his mouth is open, he's breathing heavily. And right now, he's expending a lot of energy. Well, Sammy, you want to fight all over the building? You want to be lawless? You want to come and go as you please? Yes, Don't yes, he wants to be independent. How dare he? Well, disrespect a legend like Kojima. God. Sammy Callahan, for my money, is one of the best minds and bodies in our sport. He's like a, a coder, JavaScript, Python. That is vile. He can write the code. Listen, I'm not taking anything away from what Ooh. Sammy Callahan brings to the table. That's why he's here. Somebody, oh. everybody that brings Sammy Callahan into a promotion realizes the risk and the reward, and they weigh those things. Yes. He was fired by MLW. Now he's back. What does that say? Business is business. The calling, our response, however you want to paint this, money's green, Joe. Sure. And so are you when you say things like that. But you think the calling aren't taking a risk, too? You think Sammy Callahan can risk be Risk reward. Control? Warren Buffett, read the book. Absolutely. You're, you're not in my tax bracket, are you, dude? Like, just that way of thinking in life. Own life. Listen to these people. There are very few people in the same bracket of Kojima when it comes to resume and professional wrestling. Oh, look at the fight. Callahan's been ostracized from MLW for years. Meanwhile, Kojima celebrated as the man that truly made it a world title. Oh. There's a reason that grabbing the fingers is illegal in Greco-Roman Olympic wrestling, because of the damage that can be done. You can pop a knuckle, a carpal, a metacarpal, and there's nothing a referee can do. This is pro wrestling. Callahan just wrenching and ripping and tearing. And is that, is Kojima's left place? Yeah, Thumb's compromised. Yeah, some kind of a, a cast or a splint over it, some kind of protection. Callahan revels in just the nastiness of this crowd that Sammy himself perpetuates. Sammy, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sammy perpetuates the nastiness, nastiness of a crowd. So the crowd doesn't bring their own emotional baggage and issues, especially a wrestling crowd. It's Sammy's fault. You saw what he did at Kicks at Coliseum. You saw what he did here tonight. <sighs> Who he hangs out with. Oh, he... Spitting on his hands, spitting on everybody, spitting well, on me. I'm not saying he's a clean guy. He's filthy. He smells. I'll, I'll give you all that. He's slimy and grimy. His nails are jagged and disgusting. Those are his good qualities. There's a, not even a cover. Just ripping, rip, breaking the nails into the, the torso of Kojima. That's why he's always biting them. He's not out of nerves and anxiety. He's creating little daggers. Look in the eyes. It's, it's almost like. Oh, jeez, okay. dude. You gonna fight this guy? No, I'm not gonna fight this guy, all right? So law enforcement has a code when they come upon someone that's a spitter. Every every town is different. They're 10 too. They're a little bit you're gonna call it. Sammy's that guy. Like okay. he spreads disease. So Sammy's gonna spit on people like the referee and me and Jim Cornette. And we can't defend ourselves, okay? Well, at least you're in Kojima good company. Can. All right. Try doing when, that to Kojima a time or when's two. When's the next time you're gonna be mentioned in that breath again? No. So enjoy it. T-shirt, Pro Wrestling Tees, you can have your own little... Oh, stop it. Oh, what is wrong with this guy? It looks like he probably has some type of infection, uh, an upper respiratory maybe, I don't know. He's... That, that drool is just dripping down the chin of Sammy Callahan, yeah. who takes a classless bow. Ugh. Who knew that the hepatitis C in hepatitis for Callahan? Like, just listen. We're talking to you, Joe. Well, your lifestyle, your habits, you're horrible. Oh, thanks, Matt. Bottom line here, though, is I don't think Sammy Callahan's main motive operandi tonight is a win and a loss. I think Sammy Callahan's here to take a piece of Kojima with him. I agree with you. He's jealous. But he's upset. He's angry. He's not challenging. He's for that jealous. He's upset. He's angry. He's insecure. He's a great wrestler. Sure Look is. at that hold that he has Satoshi Kojima inside of an MLW ring. Take nothing away from Sammy Callahan. Most of what Callahan's done in this matchup, though, is only wrestling by coincidence or happenstance. If you know your scripture, and I know you do, Joe, Eli said to Samuel, tell him your faithful servant is listening. Fa Sammy is a faithful servant. To what? I don't know. He 
check out the fighting spirit of Kojima. He has not backed down, not stayed down in this onslaught of Sammy Callahan, even back before the bell. This is the spirit of Kojima that led to him taking the MLW World title across this world and solidifying it for what it is today. I understand Kojima was in the building 12 noon local time, dressed, boots laced by 1.30 before anyone even arrived. This man is dedicated, and he doesn't need to be. It says a lot. Look at his chest. That says even more. And will he be the first ever two-time MLW World Champion? We'll find out in just two weeks or so. How about that, that no one has been able to capture this prestigious title more than once? That says a lot. Oh, Sammy Callahan Ooh. catches Kojima off the top from the Death Valley driver. That could do it here. Oh. Here fall. And a Sammy win here certainly throws the trajectory of Super Fight off, the momentum of Kojima off, and it causes chaos, which is what Sammy's best at. See, I don't like this. And Sammy has time to think. It's even worse. If I'm ever in a match with Sam here, I would tell someone, just keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't give him time to do what he's doing right now. The eyes of Sammy Callahan, the window to the soul. To the what? Shows you, yeah, there may be no soul there. Blood. How callous and cold he can be. Thumbs up, thumbs down. No, nope. look at the leg, look at this, just these striations and the hamstrings of kojima -san. Sammy was looking for the Cactus Driver 97. His version of the Pop oh, Driver. Yeah, what's he looking for there, dude? Yes. Yeah! yeah! There you go, you may as well. That's what happens to disrespect a legend. Bam! Kojima the DDT! We saw Sammy do some damage with a DDT in the recent past, back at Kicks of Coliseum, at Kojima. You know, now, maybe Sam positioning Valeria. Sammy forces his opponents to get into the uh, coaching cutter, maybe, to get into the dirt with him. He forces you to come down to his fighting style. Look what he's done. Oh, Kojima has almost broken honor by spitting on Sammy and forced to do so by Sammy. It's not something you'd ever see out of the Kojima no. playbook. But Sammy has forced Kojima down to Sammy's level to play his own sick games. That's where Sammy thrives. You can't out-disgust Sammy Callahan. Just looking at the picture on my screen, how is Sammy allowed in there with a chain? I know that in the rule book it says part of his ring, part of a wrestler's ring gear, it's allowed, but come on, man. I don't think he allowed anyone <laughs> to inspect him. He came out of here like a bat on a hell. He's got zippers and a chain, and he's spitting on people. But that may not be enough to protect him. Kojima brings! The cutter connects! If you know what's next. Kojima, can he get his footing? Cover. No, a roll out, out not even a kick. No. It's a very disparaging remarks by Sammy Callahan in the process. Well, Sammy's smart. He rolls and faces his opponent, like, you know, from an athletic perspective. Oh, yeah. How smart was that? Kojima the Lariat. Sammy Dude. Callahan. Oh, come on, man. Oh, we've seen Kojima. For so many years. Now, oh, oh, no! Will the second one be enough? He's done it! Here is your winner, Satoshi Kojima! As much as Sammy Callahan looked to play spoiler, you can't get in the way of the momentum of Kojima. That's a couple of weeks away from challenging. Super fight. Kojima has beaten a Whoa. former world champion and filthy Tom Lawler. And now he's beaten Sammy Callahan, who's a damn rebel everywhere he goes. Our bet online replay shows you Sammy Callahan brought the carnage even before the bell. But the legendary Kojima became the ultimate breadwinner with a victory tonight. I ate bread this morning. Thank you. After much, I will eat bread 
Está aquí. Anyway, I love Brett. Thank you so much. It's hard to argue with the diet of a legend and what could be the diet of the next and only two-time MLW World Champion, February 3rd. It's super fun. But wait, we're being told right now Alex Kane is prepared to make a statement to the press. Let's go to the media box. Here's from the champion right now. The Puma A Fight Club is in the building. And what does that mean? That means we're on Bumaye time. And that also means y'all need to pipe down. I understand that y'all are excited. And shout out to Weekly Fight. They've been showing your boy all kinds of love. And we love the foreign press. Most definitely, Bumaye is for the people. Bumaye is international. But you know what I don't love? You know what I don't like? This uh, carboholic hole, Kojima. I'm, I'm not rocking with it. I'm, I'm not vibing with all, this, all these damn carbs and all this love of bread. No bread. No bread. You see, I hear this manufactured hype that y'all keep trying to spark up on the social medias. I hear about these historic narratives. But you know what is also true to the historic narrative? The number six. The number six. Six hoes. Six ho Six challengers who all thought they had a shot, who all thought that they was going to stop this movement, who all thought that they was going to take this world title off of me. But what happened? They got tapped out, and they got choked out. And Kojima, 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 you about to be the next one, because you think you about to stop this movement, and I can't let that happen. I feed people with this damn movement. So look, what I'm going to do to you is going to be nasty, it is going to be grotesque, it is going to make the whole building, the entire building, uncomfortable. Because I'm about to take you out behind the shed and put you out of your misery. Kind of like old Yeller. Mm. Kojima, what I do to you, I hope it sends a message. I hope it sends a message to New Japan. I, you know what? What I do to you, it might even hurt the relationship between MLW and New Japan. But that's cool, because I want you to send more. I want you to send every single one that you think is worthy. And the same thing will happen like all those other challengers. They will get tapped out. They will get choked out. And that is on. Boom, my game. Boom, my game. Boom, my game.